So the next auxiliary formula is n of a union b can also be written as n of a minus b plus n of b minus a plus n of a intersection b. So can I do this? Yes, because so if you want n of a union b that means you are talking about the elements present in this place, in this region, this region and this region. These are the three regions which needs to be considered. And the first region can be thought of as n of a minus b. And this region is nothing but n of b minus a. I'll add the elements in this region, this region and n of a in section b, the middle region. If I add elements in this region, this region and this region, you get the total number of elements in a union b. And the next formula is n of a complement intersection b complement is nothing but n of a union b whole complement. Right? n of a union b whole complement because a complement intersection b complement is a union b whole complement from De Morgan's laws. That is equal to n of u minus n of a union b. So to understand this, you have to understand a very basic formula. N of a complement is equal to, so what are the number of elements in any set complement? Nothing but n of u minus n of a, right? Because universal set is the union of a and a complement. This formula comes from n of a union a complement is equal to n of a plus n of a complement minus n of a intersection a complement is 0. So n of a plus n of a complement is n of a u, right? So n of a complement can be written as n of u minus n of a. And using this, what is n of a union b whole complement? n of u minus n of a union b. Similarly, n of a complement union b complement is nothing but n of a intersection b whole complement that is equal to n of u minus n of a intersection b. So these are the next set of formulas. n of a union b is this, n of a complement intersection b complement, n of a complement union b complement. So now let us go to our last formula of this chapter. So, and the last formula of this chapter is the formula n of a union b union c if you have more than two sets. What is n of a union b union c is equal to n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus the summation of the number of elements in each set minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of c intersection a. You have to subtract the number of elements in the intersection of two two sets plus n of a intersection b intersection c. So this is the formula for a union b union c. This formula has a special name. This is called inclusion exclusion principle. This is not just a formula which is applicable for three sets. So this is a general formula. So what is the formula of n of a union b? So when you write the union of two sets, you need to add the number of elements in individual sets minus n of the intersection. Now if you have three sets, you need to add the single element numbers and double element intersections have to be subtracted, triple element subsets have to be, intersection has to be added. Similarly, if you have four sets, this is a general formula which works, you need to add the number of elements in single sets, minus number of elements in double sets, plus number of elements in three sets, minus number of elements in four sets. So you have plus, minus, plus, minus pattern here. So that's why it's called inclusion-exclusion principle. You include these three, you exclude 
the intersections then you include the next intersections if you, if there are more than three sets you exclude the next intersection so on so what is the meaning of this formula so let us see why this formula is working so if you take the venn diagram if you take the venn diagram so if you have the sets a b c a b and c you can see that this universal set is being divided by this a b c into different parts so let us name these parts let this part be 1 let this part be 2 3 4 5 6 7 eighth part these are not the elements of the venn diagram these are the number of parts into which the whole plane is divided the whole place is divided now what is n of a union b union c a union b union c corresponds to all these areas so n of a union c b union c is nothing but lhs is the elements the number of elements present in all these regions that is first region plus second region plus third region plus fourth region plus fifth region plus sixth region plus seventh region so the lhs is the number of elements present in all these regions now let us calculate the rhs so what is n of a n of a is the number of elements present in these four regions 5 3 1 4 so rhs is 5 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 this is n of a what is n of b number of elements present in the whole set b that is in these four regions the sixth region plus first region plus second region plus third region and what is n of c you have to add the number of elements in these four regions that is first region plus second region plus fourth region plus seventh region so obviously if you add, just add n of a n of b and n of c you won't get the lhs so you are asked to subtract some spaces so what are the things that you are subtracting minus of a intersection B is this area as 3 and 1. So you are asked to subtract a 3 and a 1. And I have taken a minus common. And next, B intersection C, you are asked to subtract first area again and second area. Right? And C intersection A is first area plus fourth area. So you are asked to add all this and subtract these regions. And lastly, you are asked to add A intersection, B intersection, C, that is the first region. So now let us see if you do all of this, are you getting the same as LHS? So, can you see 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 3 ones have been cancelled out. Next, a 2 here, a 2 here has been cancelled out. A 3 here, a 3 here has been cancelled out. The 4 here, the 4 here has been cancelled out. So all the elements of the negative sign has been cancelled. So what are left out? So what are left out? You have a 1 here. You have a 2 here. You have a 3 here. You have a 4. You have a 5. You have a 6. And you have a 7. All the remaining things have been cancelled out. That means LHS is exactly same as RHS. From the next time you need to remember this formula very carefully. N of A union B union C is N of A plus N of B plus N of C minus intersections of two sets plus intersection of all the three sets. So that concludes the theory part of the formula section. So now let us see how questions are asked in from these topics.